After a record-breaking segment between Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns and The Rock, and also I guess we'll fire in Seth Rollins in there, even though he stood out like a sore thumb in the corner, we have to talk about it, because The Rock has issued a statement in response to someone using his WWE heel promo to spread false clickbait garbage, garbage sorry. and it's almost stuff like this, that, like in today's day and age, that prevents, you know, I say prevents, like, it's a television show. It's scripted. I like the fact that this thing kind of blurred the lines between like kayfabe and you know shoots and all that good stuff. But the reality is, I think it's things like this in this modern day of wrestling that's prevented us seeing like heel turns. We've seen as people taking it too literal. Like the rocks, you know, he's just talking. I mean, it's wrestling for fuck. And the rocks issue does big ass, right? You know, response. Um, Twitter user at Nick Sorter posted a video of Dwayne the Rock Johnson getting booed in the 2024 WrestleMania kickoff show. Along with the following false claim, he said, Crowd in Vegas boos the rock, demanding he follow through with aid for Moy. Um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but of course Hawaii had suffered with it. Um, Oprah and Dwayne the Rock Johnson promised tens of millions to the victim of Moy fires, but many victims still have not seen a dime. It looks like the audience is fully America first and demanding the rock and Oprah fall through with their commitment to take care of the people in Laina. The crowd started booing and chanting Moy, Moy, Moy. Make it happen. So, I mean, this was just absolute clickbait shit here in The Rock. Fair play to The Rock responding. I mean, he didn't respond to most of the, the, the Cody crybabies, but I can see why he's re responding here. It's like you look at this, right? And The Rock came out with the whole, you know, thing about the, the, the fires over in Hawaii. The Rock has tried to raise money for his, you know, his homeland, you know, his family's history and ancestry all there. I mean, I think if people's got a beef to take it up with anyone in regarding this, it's Joe Biden, right? The current guy that would rather send money to Ukraine than his own people. So I don't think people need to be calling out The Rock for this, but The Rock is called out. And also, the guy's trying to make out that this situation um, resulted in The Rock. Like this, like, this entire promo got hijacked because of The Rock's involvement with this whole, you know, raise of money for the awareness. But The Rock responded, he says, I typically refrain from responding to toxic false clickbait garbage like this because I hate dignifying bullshit way of response but when you see a wise tragic offence to draw attention to yourself I won't stay quiet the moment you're referring to is from our diary press conference this past Thursday where I turned heel wrestling parlance for the bad guy I'm playing it up with our crowd as they boo it's what we do in our diary universe we all love every second for the record our people's fund of Moy has already delivered over 50 million dollars to 8,000 survivors who were affected by the fires I'm grateful to the bone that we've been the primary founders Hawaii is now where I grew up where I raised our children throughout the year and where my ancestors are buried. These are my Polynesian people and these are our American people. You can't imagine how much they are struggling daily to put their lives back together to take care of each other. Our poly-American people are as resilient as people come. They will raise and get back on their feet. Nick, instead of posting bullshit like this so that you know is false, I encourage you to post something positive for Hawaii for our American people or actually take positive action and come to Hawaii and help out in an uplifting way. I'm in Hawaii now and I guarantee you, you'll get great content that can make a difference in people's lives genuinely. They, let's put our energy in online platforms and the lifting people up, acknowledging the good things that people do, raising awareness for the suffering in ways that can effectively help. It takes so much effort to be negative and create and spread bullshit, but when you spread positivity, kindness, and lead by example, you can really impact lives. I'm sorry to tell our Polly slash Hawaiian Ohio of my for shining light on this toxicity as you struggle to through tough times. I always try to be no pano. Love you, Allah. So the rock. Oh wait. Aloha, not Allah, Aloha, DJ, as in D D Dwayne Johnson. So, I mean, I think the reality is, with The Rock getting into um, politics, you're just going to get people like this. And, you know, fair play to him for absolutely coming out and laying the smack down as The Rock would. But, you know, he he's calling this guy out. I mean, I, I actually didn't know the numbers till I read this, right? But, if, if you know, The Rock's saying that he's delivered over $50 million to 8,000 survivors. I think if people are calling it the rock for that and saying he's not done enough, I'm going to call total fucking bullshit. I mean, $50 million, that's way more than what Joe Biden's delivering. That's way more than what this jabroni Nick is delivering to Hawaii. I mean, this guy's using tragic offense of like, a, you know, wildfires is game to have a go at Dwayne, who's actually delivered. I mean, it, like, it's, it would be different if Dwayne had promised this and didn't deliver anything and kept the money for himself. That's not what he's done. He's actually delivered the money. I don't get this. And fair play to The Rock for calling it out, guys. But anyway, 
we're done. The Rock has called this guy out. The press conference was good. Next time we'll see The Rock is next Friday. So until next time, peace.